Welcome back to Fun Media, and today let's talk about Pinnacle Studio 26 Ultimate because I always go for the Ultimate version. Uh, first thing first, either you're new to Pinnacle Studio or it's an update. I'm gonna guide you through should you update, uh, should you buy it, stuff like that. Um, like right here, this is their one of their main page and. I just want to tell you, I've been using Pinnacle Studio, I don't know, for something like 15 years. And you know, those deal, when they say saves $882 and everything, well, it's just always like that. So, I, you know, that's not real true. But anyway, it's maybe a kind of way to tell you, hey, you should buy it now. Honestly, I've never really seen <laughs> stuff going upper um this is canadian dollar this is the price you would pay if you buy it first if it's an upgrade uh normally let's say you have pinnacle studio 23 maybe you want to upgrade to 26 or no matter what's the version you have if it's, if it's an upgrade it's a little less than that uh what's new uh right here right, right what's new real quick because after that i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a tour so this is not a how to do editing uh, video it's really just to give you a tour of pinnacle to your 20 studio 26 ultimate uh, if you already have like version 25 you probably know pretty much everything that's right here bes beside one or two new thing but if you're new to Pinnacle Studio or if, you, or if you have a really really old version um, this video maybe is more for you for what I want to do today um, uh, I don't recommend going like from 25 to 26 version or either 24 I, ha I had 24 and upgraded to 26 because normally I just jump to like after, before that before 24 I had 22 you know and 20 and the more the year advanced, I can see the less change there is. I would probably next time switch to three, like now have 26. I, if I had 23, that would have been a great upgrade. But anyway, that's just me. Some people just like to upgrade every time. Uh, so what's new? There's one thing that's that I found is pretty cool. I'll talk about that just a bit later. Um, but just... For those who are new, this is all the thing that you can do. So if you want to, if you have a meta quest, you know what's really popular these days is this feature right here, 360 video editing. That's pretty cool if you have a 360 cam. It's getting a lot popular with all the VR, you know, but it's just a little more than basic stuff. You know, it's semi-professional, I would say. It's not like complete, complete professional, but it's not the easiest editing software that's just for someone who doesn't know anything you know you can do basic stuff but you also can do some you know kind of professional stuff if you know how to get along with it and that's why you know if you want more tutorial on how to do stuff like how to do mask how to do more better title and everything just look in my playlist you're gonna find more stuff uh, one of the thing that I want to show you on their page is they talk a lot of improved product performance and uh, stability that for me was one of, I found one of the best upgrade you know I don't always believe everything that's written there but honestly uh, Pinnacle Studio used to crash sometimes you know like many many uh, editing software you know and ha I have a good computer but it used to crash. Don't forget to control S all the time. Save your project. I do that every five minutes. Um, I didn't have a lot of problem with 26 Ultimate with crashing. So product stability, better performance. Well, looks like it's working this time a little better. For all the rest, what's new? Uh, just for 26, you know, it's more like a hand stuff or improved stuff. Nothing major. I'm good with that or just I'm gonna stay here just a couple of things like if you go like in the effects it says new you know so what's new you just click on new and then you, you can see what's new like I had a photo here and just new effect like this one is painting you know see my picture 
when to like it's painting then of course you could double click on it and just adjust everything like i said it's not a tutorial on how to do stuff i'm just giving you a tour all right Control z know your shortcut that's always good i just came back so you see i mean there is not, not not much new stuff in all of the effects that they have you know they're not many many new thing like in uh, transition you know new the only new transition that you have they are right here don't forget when you see those little arrow it just means that click on it then you can have a little more so see it's just transition you know going from a to b you know you can have a preview here so about the new stuff you know there's nothing major there but let's just do a normal tour all right so you can have your import page which is it hasn't changed just create your bin here and put your project there you know you can also create your project right here new project all of your, your collection your folder here fx so all of your fx all right same thing you know new blue are still there you know just click all around there's many 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 cool effects that you can find here and there or if you're looking for something particular just go in the search tool here you know i'm looking for that kind of effect well you know you like let's say for example fire mine is in french so for and so you're gonna have everything that has to do something with fire so this effect is kind of an overlay so i have my i would have my fire all right boom there you go i got my fire Control z back i don't need that so this is about the effect so you could have these kind of effect or these kind of overlay or you will have more overlays right here not a big fan of those the different with the overlay that are not effect is you don't put them on your clip you put them above and then of course right here you have tons of cool tools you know this is just to play with everything's there and these here would also work see this one is selected and if i want to put two image or anything there you go so those tools right here this this one is the crop all right but i don't need it for now so i just click on it see it has deselected so the overlays right here not really impressed with that and they're that's where they make their money why because they're gonna try to sell you and you know i admit there's a couple that are nice but see video overlays you want to buy more well 29.99 these are these are these are, you, you got package that are really 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 cool this is where you're gonna find uh the best overlays you know same thing for you know motion graphic or all of those no oh, they're all there anyway let's go back here uh what else transition anything new with uh pinnacle 26 studio 26 transition what's new well i already talk about those so but you, you still have tons and tons of transition you know it's crazy you, that's something i like you know, bugs you know I, you got many 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 cool thing you know let's say you're doing karate karate video then you got tons of cool transition and they're all you know all of the transition you can modify them you know once again i'm not gonna do that today but it's pretty 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 easy to do all right tons of transition uh right here your timeline you know like any good editing software you can modify the length you can add you know i want one more there you go add a, what's this called in french here a pist it's you have way 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 more that you need um so this is how it works for here um what else here is sound effect so let's say you're doing an action movie all the guns are here all right or plasma gun you know if you're doing a 
Star Wars movie maybe so all of the sound effects are here and the library is really 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 good sports then you got tons of sports things you know animals you click on it then you have more animals you know elephant there's your elephant so this logo right here is sound effect and this logo right here score fitter is the music or ambience for your movie let's say I'm gonna try our, um, that one here so this is just ambience music but let's say I'm doing a movie about I don't know a Mexican movie I'm trying something ethnic Mexico City So this is one way to have a look at that. You got many, 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 many songs for all kind of movies, scary movies and stuff like that. And those you can also find them in. You got tons of tools right here. They are here. It's another way to find them. You click on it. Then you go by the category first. I don't want I'm doing I'm an electronic movie kind of or classic movie. And then you choose that one and you choose that one. And you can have a preview let's say you want to try that one you do a preview you want to try one more then you click here preview and then you put here adjust to movie uh, every audio that you are doing you can adjust it by pressing this little button right here all right so just easy by selecting you know louder or you know less or stuff like that or you also can go see the, I got a small clip right here but you can just double click on the green right here and then move it and you can adjust see you can adjust just everything that you want all right this is how you do it by pressing this little button right here uh, titles you can either go the titles by selecting the title here or selecting your title 3d title here or just normal title right here or you can go by title right here and those are create a title and you got tons of things you can modify pretty much everything add some movements and everything uh, or you can select you know write a text right here select an entry and then phases and an outro so you just click here and try that one here so that's my entry that one right here and you play to see if you like it boom 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 that's how it done so you change your text there's many 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 way like i said look in my playlist i got more stuff about titles uh what else titles i did pretty much every button right here uh those one here more songs more music for your movie but see there's a little cart what does it mean yeah you can play it but see the lady is talking before it's a preview file and then it's gonna talk she's gonna talk like here and here because you've gotta press the little cart and you gotta buy it so some more options just in case are one you really 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 like there's a little more option uh, more now for the tour this button right here is really important every time you start a project what I'm gonna say here is important you're gonna go with a folder and you know save your project give it a name and everything and after that and maybe even before you save these little thing right here choose the aspect that you want it's really important all right and choose let's say you're working in North America choose NTSC if you're working in Europe choose PAL all right choose the quality of uh, your uh, the files that you want to create all of this is really really important all right you start by choosing that you know let's say you want to do a short for you to a TikTok video you know you're gonna go with that one here so you, you got tons of option all right that's where you choose that um what do you have here this is a docking 
you know, uh, voice recording if you want it. This is your uh, multicam. Let's say you're working with multicam video. This is where you're going to work it. See cam 1, cam 2, cam 3. This is where you're going to go do it. This one's really, really important. If you don't know that one, it's really because you're brand new. Um, let's say you, I like that video, but I want to cut it here. This is your cut tool. See, it has cut the video. Then I select it. Boom, you're gone. Trash can. This is a Snapchat. Let's say you like a photo like from your video. I like that one. And I, you got a title. You want to use that for YouTube mini. Then you do your screenshot and you're going to go in a folder. You're, you're going to have your miniature. That's an easy way to help you doing your miniature. Um, all of these tools are pretty cool. That one, I always selected it. That's your magnet. So let's say I want to put that one on that one. It's going to go click on it. Boom. See, it has click on it. If you don't choose that one, well, it's just going to go, you know, over it. And it's just a little harder to put your clip connected together. Uh, everything that you have on your timeline, you can double click on it. And it's going to bring you this page, the property page. And this is your keyframe. So you can have keyframing. Keyframing is uh, you put a keyframe, you know, and then you advance in right here. You know, I want to change it. And there's many, many things you can do with your keyframe. You put another keyframe. See, it has changed. So I already put a movement. And let's say I don't like that. Undo. You know, Control Z is undo, but this one is undo. And this one is redo. And you, you got many, many, many things uh, right here, you know, that you can do. You work your colors here. Uh, effect. In effect, you're going to have color in effect, camera effect, artistic effect. Uh, and this one is uh, where you're going to find if you're working chroma key. This is if you work with a green screen, that's the one you're going to use. So you click on that one, then you're going to have to adjust your green screen. Uh, video 360, like I said, if you have a 360 cam for VR, it's pretty cool. Pan and zoom, very, very basic. It was really, really easy to use. So as you can see, you know, there's many, many, many good tools with Pinnacle Studio that you can use. Um, every So I said you can double click to uh, bring some option right here, mask. But uh, you can also right click, you know, to have more stuff. Uh, let's say like I want to do this video i want to this video to go like quicker or shorter you know i'm just showing you one but you got many many options right here so this is the speed you can change the speed 200 percent or 50 percent to make it slow uh, do i want to do i want to keep the voice like let's say i made it shorter i can keep the voice tone or i can make it like real really slow and real loud and you know you got option for everything uh mask i was about to talk about mask so let's say i'm going to choose that one I, I can create a mask then you're going to go create a mask like i said you look in my uh, playlist on my channel you're going to see how to create a mask uh, so what is a mask let's say i want to change i like that photo or this video and I would change just the sky because I want the apocalypse and I have a red sky and meteor and it's going to crash. So I'm going to select all the sky. It's going to create a mask right here. And then I could just make it disappear. And then my other image is just going to show right here, which is like this red sky apocalypse thing. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of more thing you could do, but this is really... I went to pretty much all of the basic and the major stuff right here. Of course, you know, export. Uh, because when you are done with your project, you want to export it. So the important thing about your export is just like the format, all the format that you that you have. You know, many, many quality. Uh, if you're doing YouTube, the major one is MPEG-4. It works pretty, pretty, pretty well. You know, you you got the 4K if you want. You know, it's 
really really easy you got you know all kind of format they're all there so quick time movie uh, av for you know really good quality windows media you know you, you got a couple of things so yeah it's pretty much the basic that you can do please like this video you know and subscribe there then you go see on my uh, media channel on I mean, my media play playlist sorry that's where you're gonna find more you know about about how to do editing you know stuff like that just more precise but pinnacle 26 pinnacle studio 26 ultimate this is how it looks like i hope you like it i recommend it i really really recommend if you're new to editing it's not too hard to use you know it's still you know pro professional enough you're gonna have great video great great quality uh, if you have pinnacle studio 24 25 uh, what, what does it worth the, to pay the upgrade you know if you don't care about the money why not if you not sure well i would probably wait unless your version crash all the time just make sure your computer is good enough of course and if you have pinnacle 3 to uh, studio 23 uh the upgrade is kind of cool because the title in 23 are not that good so that would be a good upgrade later version in that 22 21 i would just go with the upgrade no brainer anyway that's pretty much it uh, for today like i said please subscribe and talk to you later with fun media see you guys bye bye